Good morning and welcome to this public meeting of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Uh, we're meeting today to consider a draft uh, notice of proposed rulemaking to establish safety standards for water bead toys and toys that can that contain water beads. As you can see, we're having some technical difficulties, so uh, bear with us through this process. Before I start, I just want to confirm that um, Commissioner Trump is joining us on WebEx. Can see and hear us. I can see and hear you twice, getting a bit of an echo. We can start with opportunity for commissioners to ask questions of staff. There are several staff members present, um, both here and online, to answer questions. If there aren't any, you're joining us in person. Uh, Charlotte Alton, attorney in the Office of General Counsel, and online is Matt Cresty, project manager in the Laboratory Sciences. Each commissioner will have five minutes to ask questions if there are any. Um, after questions are complete, we are going to consider amendments if there are any. As a reminder, if you have any questions to address the agency's legal authorities, please do not ask them at this time. So I'm going to move on to questions, and I actually have no questions. So, Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have no questions, but I uh, want to offer my uh, thanks to Charlotte and Matt for uh, all of their work on the package and uh, uh, the, the, the rest of the staff for all the effort that went into this. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Mr. Trunka, you have questions? I, I thank staff for its contributions. I have no questions. Commissioner Wall. I don't have any questions. Thank you very much. I had a question. I just again wanted to thank staff uh, here for the work done as well as the advocates who got us here today. Thank you. No questions. No, no questions. Oh, staff is excused. Thank you for all your work. Before we move this matter as proposed by staff to a vote, I'm going to now entertain any amendments to the motion that commissioners may propose. Um, I don't have any amendments. Commissioner Feldman, do you have any amendments? I do not. Commissioner Slobka, do you have an amendment? I do have an amendment. I recognize you need to use your amendment for up to three minutes. Okay. Uh, so, so I have an amendment that would ask for comment on two topics. Uh, the first request for comment is about whether we should consider water beads color as evidence of whether a water bead is a toy or not. Uh, toys are subject to proposed rule, non-toys are not, and it would be great to get as much clarity as possible on what will be subject to a proposed rule. The second request is a tweak on current one. Originally, we asked about whether water beads can stick together to create an obstruction. Uh, this would broaden that to ask about whether they can bond with not only each other, but also food or anything else that would Great and instruction. And that, that is the amendment. Thank you. Is there a second for the amendment? Heard a second. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm going to turn to comments and questions from commissioners. Uh, I'm going to start with myself. I, as a general policy, I um, always support questions that are power balanced and want to be added in so that we can get more feedback from, from stakeholders. And this is consistent with that. I would like to support this amendment. Um, I think the questions being asked are interesting ones that well, I would encourage people who are interested to buy any evidence on the suits or the positions that they're taking as we're going forward. Uh, advocates have raised concerns about colorful water beads presenting a great hazard and less colorful water beads, um, but uh, I think she has a scientific underpin behind that and what evidence is that not out there. Since, you know, I've heard concerns about the clumping of the beads together creating a larger mass question about this myself but uh, that has not written for today's self and we've been reproduced it so we are looking uh those who are out there commenting on this to i don't like these studies of data so that we can take a look at that as we're going forward to um uh, finalize this role we could about it do you have questions or comments uh thank you mr chairman i i am doubt that i am i'm comfortable with the kind of at the same time, I, I also believe it's out of the room nurse to ask questions uh, for comments uh, as long as the questions are uh, balanced with the enterprise at risk. Uh, I, I believe this, though. Those people, uh, I'm curious to hear the responses that we might garner. I, I plan to support this. Thank you. I don't have any questions at this time. Thank you. Thank you. Like my copy, I support uh, as a general principle of question. Uh, we're making packages, and in this instance, I board the Trunka's amendment. Thank you. No questions. Uh, Trunka, did you have any final uh, thoughts to that? 
just that I appreciate the consideration and support. Thank you. I'm going to ask for your consideration and support too. Sure, sure, Tunky. And then I'm going to go out of order in the vote and look no. uh, so that we don't have problems cutting in and out to, to, to you. So you're going to get to go last. Uh, um, at this point in time, uh, we're going to move to a vote on the amendment. Um, it was just for, uh, Feldman. I vote aye. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. Aye. But I, 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 Commissioner Tupka, how do you vote? Yes. Then the yeses are five, the noes are zero, and the amendment is adopted. Uh, Commissioner Tupka, do you have any other amendments? I do not. Thank you. Commissioner Boyle, do you have any amendments? No, I don't. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Amendments? Hearing yeah. no additional amendments, I'm going to move to approve the draft. Proposed notice of rulemaking on water beach safety as amended. Is there a second? Second. Hearing a second, we now move to a vote. Commissioner Feldman, how do you vote? I vote aye. Commissioner Boyle, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Ziak, aye. I vote aye. Commissioner Trumka, how do you vote? Yes. Um. Hear me. That that was a yes from me. The yeses are five. The noes are zero. The draft notes the proposed rulemaking on water bee safety as amendment is approved. Now I'm going to turn to closing statements, and uh, each commissioner will have 10 minutes. I'm going to recognize myself to start. Uh, first, I want to start and thank the staff for putting together this strong package that aims to protect children from various hazards posed by water beads, ingestion, insertion, aspiration, chemical exposure. I know it's not a simple task, and I appreciate the hard work and diligence in pursuing safety. I also want to extend my deepest thanks to the parent advocates who have focused our attention on this uh, issue over the past year. Ashley Haugen, also known as the Water the Bee Lady, took her daughter's experience and turned it into an organization that's helping other families and advocating for change. And to all the parents that have come to speak with us or share their stories, I extend my gratitude. You know, after the, the staff's briefing... The other week, one mother, Haley Nichols, reached out to me in, just to say thanks. And uh, thanks for, in her words, uh, us giving her the feeling of finally being heard and understood. You know, too often, staff work long hours in their lab and at their desks. And they don't actually get to hear directly from the people who are impacted by the work that they do. And so to all the staff who worked on the NPR, I wanted to pass along Haley's thanks. Um, your work is not only appreciated by me and the fellow commissioners, as I've been saying today, but by the people outside the agency who are counting on us to protect children and babies. There's still more to do as we establish final uh, safety standard, and I urge stakeholders to review the proposal carefully and to submit comments. I look forward to considering a final package in the coming months. And turn to Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I want to echo uh, the, the thanks for staff for their work on the package. I'm glad that we've got a strong package in, in front of us today, and I'm pleased to see that it, that it's advancing. Uh, I want to thank the parent advocates, and in particular, uh, Ashley Hogan, that water bead lady, uh, and others who have done uh, uh, really important work pushing this issue to the fore. Uh, I'm excited to see the package go out today. I uh, look forward to reading the comments, which are an important part of our rulemaking process. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can have something finalized uh, in due course. Thank you very much. Commissioner Trumka? Yeah, when members of the public bring problems to us, they deserve solutions. And when families of victims come and ask for our help, they deserve it. And they deserve it as soon as we can. And here, this agency has recalled products. It's warned the public not to have water beads for small children. It has searched for toxicity and found it. And it has proposed a strong rule to guard against this hazard. So far, so good. More work to be done. And I believe with the agency. Right, quick. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Wall. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I want to add my voice of thanks to staff who worked on this package and especially to the parent advocates who have gotten us to this point. Um, your work and your uh, efforts are deeply appreciated. I look forward to the comments, I uh, and I look forward to moving this uh, rulemaking along quickly. Thank you. Commissioner Ziak. 
I'll be brief. Thank you again to the parent advocates and to our staff uh, who worked on this package. And I look forward to reviewing the comments and moving forward with the final rule. Um, once again, thanks. And thanks for the public for bearing with us through uh, our IT problems. And with that, this decisional meeting of the Consumer Product Safety Commission is adjourned.